They don't react the same as Austin did last year. <laughs> <clears throat> Closest we've ever gotten to an actual, I had a little English thing there for a second and I dropped that. And then I had this like <coughs> Wayne's World thing. People say I look like Garth from Wayne's World, but I was doing the Wayne from Wayne's World. Oh, you can do whatever you want. I Wayne, can do Wayne, Wayne or, or Garth because they don't even know who Wayne or Garth is. Um, I mean, there's just there, there's more than can be packed in, even into a good mythical more. If you need, if if you like dry places, um, with few people, with few clothing at times, and and water coming out of rocks that's hot, go to Death Valley. I it think, is I it think is a phenomenal experience. That's the postcard thing. Um, just to piggyback off of uh, your nude experience, uh, but not to piggyback on you literally because that would be so weird. <laughs> while nude, is yeah, it's like while while nude, I don't I don't want to piggyback ride on anybody. <laughs> well, not I mean maybe somebody. Um, just like stop my talking. wife. Just stop talking. Okay, <laughs> what are you? What are you? What are you? She's laughing over here. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, She's piggybacking on anybody. <laughs> What are you piggybacking off of? What do you mean? You said my nude experience. You were there too. Um, what you were saying about the shower? Oh, uh, yeah. It's weird at first to be totally exposed in an under a shower head that's totally exposed, <laughs> <laughs> but it very quickly became exhilarating. I mean, primal. Right. Except, except for the shower part. I don't think they had that in the olden days. I mean, the water was just as hot as any shower. I would I would prefer to be in. Yeah. But the view. I mean, I could see snow-capped mountains yeah, yeah, yeah. if I looked the direction opposite of the yeah. nude people, which yeah. I certainly did that. And it was great. I, I mean, I even used soap that was left behind. Ooh. Well, I, I mean, I didn't bring any soap. Um, it was exhilarating. It I was would recommend, exhilarating. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna put a shower in my backyard. You know, there's hippies that do that around here. Uh, yeah. Anastasia and her husband started renting a house that has a shower in the backyard. It has a bathtub. Oh. It, I think it's just like an old bathtub, but there might be water. We had some friends it. in North Carolina who had a shower in their uh, in their backyard. Well, you could do that. I might come over once in a while, uh, Airbnb your house just so I can take a shower in your backyard. Uh, one of the things that happened to us, you know, we, we go, we're going with all these guys. That besides Nick, the guy who is driving the car that we were in, everyone else is from this internet four by four forum that he knows. So we don't know any of them. four other guys. Right, four other cars with three other cars with four other guys in them, mm -hmm. and and one dog. One guy brought a dog, and the one of the guys. First of all, great guys had an incredible time. Hope to do it again. But one of the guys that was the passenger of uh, the guy kind of leading the trip, kind of noticed that he could, he told a couple of stories in our first interaction about some things that had happened. Yeah, you know, we're in Death Valley. We're in a place that we could die. I mean, that's why it got the name because people died there. And just happened to notice that he was telling a. story he would tell a story and it usually ended with, and he died. But I, I don't think he realized that, we started to realize it, but we weren't talking about like in Death Valley, we were just talking about like, oh I, you know, I I broke my pelvis uh, riding, a, riding a mountain bike, is what another guy said. And I was like, oh yeah. I broke my pelvis riding a snowboard. And he's like, well I had a buddy who was riding a motorcycle and got thrown off and hit his head on a rock, he died. And then it was like. And then a few minutes later. Somebody else had died. Yeah, and then I started wondering. A relative I died mean, at one point. Are we gonna die? Because we're with him, and we're gonna be. He's gonna be telling a story about a story. us. Yeah, you because know, we're in a place that I. I you they know, were great. They were great anecdotes. There's no hospital. You know, you, you got to get airlifted out of there or something. There's no cellular telephone service. There's no service. We didn't have self service for two days. So I, I started getting kind of anxious. I was like, this guy is really. I mean, I don't know that many people who have died in horrific ways. And it seems like every story this guy tells us. Somebody, every 10 minutes, somebody's dying. Yeah, right, yeah. And uh, we didn't die. I think that's the Spoiler long, alert. long and short of it is we, we didn't die, nobody died. We did have one bee sting. Nick and, had a bee sting. And I did feel like, I mean, we were pushing these these trucks to the limit. I mean, you just you I just feel so manly when I'm in a truck, even if I'm not driving it. It's like crying a car all over yeah, rocks. In the, in the passenger seat is where we were most of the time. Man, I feel really like next to a man who's driving a truck. That's what it felt like. Uh, <laughs> but the thing I, I didn't know anything. I about drove this. a little bit. I haven't done anything like this. You know, I, I actually had 
a four by four Mitsubishi Montero that my wife just used to get the kids around at one point. I didn't know anything about the differential. You're part of the problem, man. I know, yeah. I And so, I mean, one of the guys that was with us had a Land Rover that you see soccer moms in LA, everyone's got these things, right? These rich soccer moms driving around their Land Rovers. This dude was like, uh-uh, I'm gonna use a Land Rover to rove land for reals, and, yeah. he, and he brought it. And this dude was just, to see that thing. an amazing that vehicle. You think of like a soccer mom, to see that thing going up the side of the mountain, and it was like the best one of all the the uh, the vehicles. These are these yeah, are the, like inclines the axles, like this. The, this. This wheel would be off the ground, and then all of a sudden the truck would know to push the wheel down to gain traction. Yeah, it was weird. I mean, there was it, it was amazing, and there was another guy who had a flat top, uh, which made him the de facto leader of the group. Yeah, yeah, he was in charge. He had a flat top. Right. I mean, when you see a man with a flat top and, it, and it's working, you immediately listen. Do to everything whatever. he yeah. says. It's like, he's like, okay, we should we should camp here for the night. Yes, we should camp. <laughs> we should camp here for the night. Yeah. Whatever is. you say, boss. Hope we don't get in trouble. But if we do, I know you're gonna get us out of it. We didn't call him boss, even though I did. Uh, call him boss. Uh, the big boss man, the wrestler, did have a uh, flat top, but that was not him. Oh, the big boss man. Yeah, Josh was the, not the, the actual the big boss uh, man. He's not a wrestler, wrestler at all. But you know, I'm hey, I'm, I'm thinking I gotta, uh, you know, I've got that that Bronco out there. Uh, the four x four doesn't work on it. It's it's not that reliable. I feel like I gotta upgrade. We gotta get us a four x four. We gotta get into this off roading stuff, Link. I'm gonna get a big old car with wheel, tall wheels. It's pretty sweet, man. It's a pretty sweet little Those uh, headlights endeavor. on the front. Start wearing tank tops and having flat tops. Yeah, tank. That's what we can call our internet group. Tank tops and flat tops. Yeah, big wheels too. I had that somewhere in there. Burning rubber. You know, if if you uh, get get lost and you're in a survival situation, you could you should literally burn rubber. That's how that family survived in Death Valley recently. Yeah, like burn a tire mm -hmm. for like uh, burn a tire for a long time. It makes a smoke signal and uh, gives you warmth. Gives you some heat. Yeah, as well. Gives you some heat. I had a blow up mattress. So I'm not going to apologize for that. <laughs> that. Air mattress. I blew it up. Yeah. Every night. Yeah, you did. That tent Without was, ordinance. I, I had to unzip that tent a couple of times. 